do it, hide your body As long as you dreaming about me, ain't no problem I don't got nobody just with you right now But the truth, I look better under you, I can lose Hey my girlies, so I'm back here today with another video. So we are week two of Vlogmas. We got two more weeks until December, y'all. So I'm very excited. I got something in my eye. Uh, I'm very excited because I got a lot of good stuff coming out, y'all. And if y'all like my hair, this is from my hair vendor. You know, I sell, I sell, I sell wigs, y'all. So get one of my wigs get one of my wigs but yeah so it's gonna be linked in the description box below um <clears throat> i'll be selling this unit um a couple of straight ones curly ones i customize units so yeah it's happening with your girl and so today's video is gonna kind of tie, like you know what i was just talking about is gonna kind of tie in tie in so what i'm talking about today y'all so the difference between version here and raw here so i feel like there's been so much you know misconceptions about version here and raw here and i and i try both honestly this one is um a version wig but i do love raw hair so i mostly sell raw hair but i do like you know sometimes sell like version here because i like the curliness on like the deep wave here so yeah so if y'all like this video like subscribe and comment down below we are only going up from here we are never going down and we're gonna just keep on going so if y'all like this video tune in let's get straight into it i don't i don't never stop my videos so we just gonna go right into the video so the difference is from version hair and raw hair so version hair is processed hair so they basically process it um <clears throat> raw hair is unprocessed so it's no chemicals no bleach no nothing no color no nothing so if you if you get some raw hair from somebody and then you wash it and you see like color and stuff coming out of it it's not real authentic raw hair authentic raw hair is from someone's head literally like no dye no bleach they didn't do nothing to it they just shaved it off the person's head and gave it to you that's that's basically the the definition of raw hair version hair is they get it from raw well not necessarily they don't get it from raw hair but it is like another how do i explain it like another synthesis yeah let's use that word synthesis of raw hair because with version hair you um they can chemically process it to make it um <clears throat> last a, um a long time like so you can tell when hair is version hair because you can see like um like the s like, you know, when they, when you have body wave, you can see the S. Like, it's very noticeable when you have, you know, body wave hair and deep wave. So you can tell, like, deep wave hair is like, literally, you guys know what deep wave hair look like, that ripple effect. That's how you can tell the hair is processed and it's not real authentic raw hair. Raw hair does not have a form to it. That's, that was the word, not synthesis. <laughs> yeah, that's the word. So raw hair does not have any tech, I mean, any, um, shape to wear anything and i could insert some pictures so y'all can see my raw hair versus my non-raw hair you guys can see the difference there's no form to the raw hair and there is form to the version here so it's two different types of um hair that you guys can get um raw hair oh we're just gonna get back we're just gonna get to the next um differences and like you know the differences of version hair and raw hair so that was the first one version hair is processed raw hair is unprocessed so version hair can have multiple donors and then raw hair only has one donor so donors mean like it so version hair can come from different people so it's not just coming from one single person like literally shaved off of someone's head it's not literally coming shaved off a person's head it's coming from somebody else so I mean, nine out of ten times, um, your best bet would get would be to get the raw hair, but raw hair can be a little pricey. So I would say if you're like want to be like a baddie on a budget, I would say go for virgin hair. But if you want hair to last a long time, then get raw hair. It's only from one donor, and that's out off of somebody's actual head. Like my raw hair that I got from my vendor, I still have. I don't lost that vendor, but <laughs> I got other vendors, y'all. Like. Cause you know i sell hair so i gotta make sure i be stacked up on different hairs so yeah so we're gonna get into another tip that was you know the next one next one okay so virgin hair does not really last a long time but raw hair does you're gonna have some instances where virgin hair does last you for years 
but nine out of ten times raw hair lasts longer raw hair is like actual person's hair off their literal head so raw hair i would say the lifespan of raw hair is like five to seven years i had my raw hair for a minute like how long i had it for i had it for three years now going three years yeah so i would say raw hair definitely lasts a very long time and you can reuse it do different styles i literally um bleached and dyed my raw hair and it literally lifted up to a like um a really pretty color and everything so but virgin hair does really not <clears throat> i mean it can lift us at 613 but mm, mm, i don't really know i don't really know <laughs> yeah it'd be it'd be like a hit or miss with virgin hair like sometimes it does live sometimes it doesn't and they say that you could dye it but then when you try to bleach it and stuff it gets all matted up and everything no that's bad hair there is there is some good virgin hair though so i'm not gonna lie there is some good virgin hair but i would recommend raw hair because of the fact like it lasts so long so like say if you um buy like my wigs are pretty expensive they're like at least like 500 600 dollars so if you get one of my wigs your wigs are gonna last you for like five to seven years i guarantee that because unless you don't take care of your hair if you you have to know how to properly um <clears throat> train raw hair and use raw hair because if you don't, you're not, it's not going to last as long because you're going to think like, oh, what's going on? Because there's certain shampoos, there's certain things that you have to do when like washing and doing your raw hair. So it literally ties into everything, y'all. Like it's not just a one-stop shop, but it's literally everything. So we're going to get to the next one. Um, for virgin hair, the quality is, okay, it could be a hit or miss with the quality. Like if you're buying a wig that's like really cheap, that's virgin hair, that's like probably like, ninety dollars do not expect the quality to be as bomb because you're getting it for like a dirt cheap price and nine out of ten times they put synthetic fibers into the hair like the quality for um raw hair is like very better and it's really 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 pretty the um the curls are bouncy um soft and everything i swear my raw hair has lasted me for so long it doesn't um mad up or anything like i don't know comment down below like how y'all feel about raw hair because my raw hair never really matted at all unless like i'm laying down or like you know you know when you get up when you have to brush your hair out and stuff but it go it snaps right back like and i had it for so long so if i can if i want to wash it and do it over like it's gonna go right back to its natural state but i will say with raw hair the laces are sometimes not as good so you have to get a really really good quality virgin hair lace to mix with the raw hair it i'm telling you, you're not gonna tell the difference but nine out of ten times raw hair the lace ain't it my lace literally had holes in it literally like the lace was not good at all because of the fact like i don't think they're really trained on how to do laces and i don't really understand why but the laces on raw hair really never last like the bundles are great not even on the bundles are great everything but the lace never lasts i don't get it so yeah so we're going on to the next one okay so virgin hair not as expensive you can get it for about 90 dollars sheep raw hair really expensive we already went over that you can get it for like a good price trust me raw hair is expensive like my vendor is pretty expensive so i have to upcharge on my prices because of the fact like i'm not about to cheat myself out of hundreds of dollars you get what i'm saying y'all so i need to make back a good profit you know not too crazy because i believe that's like 600 700 dollars for raw hair is nothing there's some people that's like spending like thousands of dollars on raw hair so yeah so um virgin hair virgin hair comes from china we all know that most of virgin hair comes from china it's one thing i do not like is when china tries to sell raw hair like i'm do not get no do not get no raw hair from china it's not gonna be real raw hair and if you test it, it's not gonna be real raw hair they like to dupe us literally that's what they like to do they like to dupe us so your raw hair is supposed to come from india vietnam or um yeah honestly the one of the um those is basically the two that i you know really go for vietnam or india because those are the actual places where you can get like vietnamese hair indian hair and you're not going to be duped on your hair because of the fact like they like to do that in china so yeah if if they say their raw hair come from china do not believe that do not get that hair you better make sure it come from india or vietnam 
So I'm just letting y'all know that. So these were some of the tips on how to use spot the difference between raw hair and virgin hair. So I, I hope you guys like this video. Um, let me know like any other hair topics y'all want me to go over. I love doing hair. This is my passion. Um, my launch is January 1st, 2024. So tune in. I'm going to be having so much stuff for you guys. And I cannot wait to just bring everything to you guys on the platform. So yeah. So if you guys like this video, like, subscribe, and comment down below. Follow my Instagram. Everything will be linked in the description box below. And I love y'all. Y'all my girls. Mwah. Mwah. Later.